Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a full face tutorial where half of my face is going to be extraordinarily budget friendly. The other half will be extreme luxury. These are dupes that I have not seen people mention. I know that we can go on shorts any which direction you want from YouTube to TikTok to IG, and you're gonna see a lot of viral dupes. I have maybe one that I personally wanted to test, but outside of that, these are all relatively unique unique dupes. I got a little wild and crazy and did the note taking and took this business very seriously. So I think this is going to be a really good video. And who does not love it when the drugstore wins? Let's hop on in and save some money. We're gonna pop luxury over on the side with my stress vein. Then the affordable side will be where my sunspot is. Just so you know, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna hop on in first with a little Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. This is said to diffuse the look of fine lines and pores. You guys, this is literally a slam dunk dupe for the Benefit Professional. I am gonna kind of go on the forehead and just smooth out those lines a little bit. This one is a tad more hydrating in my opinion. It does have ginkgo biloba as an added beneficial ingredient and it is fragrance free it's also 16 dollars for a full ounce so smoothing we're gonna go into the famous professional on the other side it's a tiny bit thicker the texture is very spot on very identical you do not get a full ounce in this puppy right here and there is a light fragrance. My stress vein is like, fragrance, oh no. Um, I try to avoid fragrance, however, on my channel. Sometimes when I'm reviewing things, it's just it literally unavoidable, especially in cosmetics. Why is this pilling? This side didn't pill. <sighs> We have the All Hours Foundation from YSL. This has a sunscreen in here, SPF 30. This is a luminous matte foundation. Are you reformulated? I think you are. I picked this up at Sephora. I cannot believe the price tag. Just, just like, you don't even get a full ounce. It is 0.85 ounces, 60 bucks. Just smack, just like $60. Let's just start stamping away all of our imperfections. Definitely fragranced, but you know what? YSL fragrance in their cosmetics literally like transports me back to Nordstrom because they were uh, right next to the bare minerals counter. And that scent is like permanent in my mind. Like I go back to being 23 just like that. Okay, this is a beautiful foundation. Like holy smokes, that is blending right on in. This says it will wear for 24 hours. So obviously long wearing, it is a matte finish or natural matte finish, full coverage. It does contain hyaluronic acid. So you are going to attract some moisture to the skin. And it's just like a solid foundation. I am using the shade MN7. Gosh darn it, YSL, why are you so good? All right, so now we're gonna go into the Revlon Color Stay. This is a 24 hour long wear formula as well. You get a full ounce for $15.99. It is buildable, breathable, long wearing, heat resistant, water resistant. This is a really great foundation and I have been, Oops, that's the wrong color. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of lighter one. I literally, I do this business, I mix, mix it all in. I've got a clean sponge. That is more like it. Do you see how that just like erases all of the sun damage, discoloration, just completely covers it up, but it is a relatively thin formula. I really like it. Can you tell a difference? This side is a little more luminous, dare I say, than the Revlon side. They are both extraordinarily full coverage. They both come in a glass pump. They have a lot of similar claims. I'm liking them both and we're gonna leave it at that and move on. We have a $40 concealer from Armani to test out. This is a long wear medium to full coverage concealer. I have the shade 4.5. 
Now the applicator is quite unique. I want to give a shout out to that. Well, actually, I think this even has a similar. Yeah, they both have a nice point. Okay, let's get the Armani on. We're gonna dot, dot, dot. This is the Power Fabric Concealer. I was in Sephora and I was testing this on the back of my hand and the texture just immediately had this super similar feel to the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop that I can't stop, won't stop talking about. So we're gonna get to that. This is not as full coverage, I would say, as the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. While it is a good concealer that will not crease as easily as some other concealers out there, I still feel like it creases a little bit more than the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. So if you're looking for a medium to full coverage under eye concealer that has the technology in the formula to prevent creasing, I think this is the way to go. These colors are different. I definitely need a new shade. Texas heat is already kicking up and I'm outside so much and I tan very, very easily. So all of my makeup right now is needing to change. I'm liking the drugstore side already better. We're gonna go in now with one of the most famous setting powders. This is from Laura Mercier. This is the cult favorite translucent setting powder. This is expensive. The formula is incredible though. I will say I've loved this for years. You get an ounce, it's 43 bucks. It's oil-free, 16 hours of wear. And I think it sets the under eye so nicely. We're just gonna go in with a velour puff and just kind of get that inner corner down the side of the nose a little bit. Get the smile lines. Okay, we're doing good. We're gonna take a clean puff. $7.99 Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. This is literally the same thing. You do not need to spend 40 plus dollars on Laura Mercier like this. I forgot what a great powder this is. Oh my gosh. It's got a beautiful amount of coverage, but it is very thin. While that is doing its thing, we're gonna go into one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is Captivating from Tarte. They're Amazonian clay blushes. Oh my gosh, I think I included them in one of my very first like summertime favorites videos. This blush I wore over and over and over and over and was one of the few blushes in the history of my channel that I repurchased because I hit pan. Like I would almost never hit pan on things because I was always trying new stuff. This one is just a really special color, very flattering, peachy coral. And we're gonna go and pop this here. And I'm trying to go a little lower and I think for me, it's a little more flattering. Okay, we're gonna go into Catrice. This is the Airblush Glow in Coral Sky. This surprised me, like immediately reminded me of captivating and that was my first thought and I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you doing at the drugstore? Like this is bananas. The formula on this one is really nice too. You can go more into the shimmery portion if you want to shimmer it up or you can just keep your brush in the less shimmery part but it's a really pretty coral blush, blends really nicely, isn't patchy, and I love it. We're gonna go in with a little e.l.f. putty bronzer, and I found through swatching every single cream bronzer that I had here in my studio that the Charlotte Tilbury, this ginormal one, especially next to the e.l.f., uh, Sunkissed Glow Bronzer, I have the shade two medium, is a total texture dupe for the e.l.f. putty. Now I was shocked because I thought that the Tower 28 would be more comparable, but Tower 28 has more of a sheen. And I would say this is kind of similar to the Beauty Blender texture, the putty bronzer little stack duos, but this kind of a formula here is very unique. It doesn't have a lot of luminosity or wetness to it, but it's still very, very creamy. Um, we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush over here. We're just gonna hit the perimeter. 
I'm trying to not over contour for today. I really love using a stippling motion when applying this kind of a texture. The wetter textures you can kind of go a little more circular with. I wouldn't do that with this type of a formula. It will patch. But this gives you just such a natural look. I really like, whoa, love it. All right, now we're going to clean off the brush. We're gonna go into Charlotte Tilbury. We're doing good, we're doing so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's time for brows. We're gonna go in with a little of my favorite. This will not stop being a favorite. This is the Dior Dior Show Brow Styler in number 001 Brown. Even when you do just a natural thing with your brows, it just makes such a huge difference. Okay, we're gonna go in on the other side with this Joa Warm Medium Brown. It has the same exact tip, which I love these micro fine tips on brow pencils. And this has the same texture. It's like that firm, not too waxy, little bit powdery texture that I think is really special about the Dior. Pretty good, looking pretty good, not bad. Now what I wanna do before we get into eyes, I do wanna take off my Laneige lip balm. I always put on a balm just out of habit right before I start doing my makeup. We've got Huda Beauty versus NYX. I have the shade Honey Beige Lip Contour. Now the only difference with this one, oh, I almost went on the drugstore side. Okay, the difference, this is a little bit creamier. There is a texture difference. I repeat, there is a texture difference. What a beautiful color though. Oh my gosh. It is like the perfect neutral that is neither pink or overly peachy nude or like too dark brown. I don't know. This is just like, I love this color. Wow, it is difficult lining half your mouth. We are gonna go in to the shade Natural from NYX. Now this is a pencil where you do need to sharpen it versus the Huda Beauty one, I think. Yeah, it's you just twist it up off the bottom. I tried sharpening one of these uh, once upon a time and uh, yeah, don't do that. They're about the same. Okay, so now we need some lipstick. We're gonna keep it fancy. We're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury. This is catwalking. What a beautiful shade too. Like let's just ooh and awe, beautiful shade. Formula is top notch. I will have every price comparison listed in the description box below. Check it out. It's one of those colors that just makes you feel a little more like I'm wearing uncomfortable fashion and I don't care. Um, I care. I actually can't wait to take this off, but what a sophisticated shade. Do you know what I mean? It just has, it's like that. This is the shade, no doubt from e.l.f. The formula on this, so good. Do not Sleep on these. I would say that's pretty close, right? <gasps> this is so satisfying. Oh my gosh, this is my new content lane. We're just gonna do dupes 
all the time. Thumbs up this video, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, turn on the notifications, do the things. Let me know that you want more of these because this is like fueling my fire right now. I love it. Okay, we're gonna get into eyes and I have a treat for you. Everyone get very, very excited because I swatched up my arms to no end, like I had to scrub everything off. I was like swatching madness over the weekend and I found dupes for this $70 palette from Patrick Ta. One of the palettes that I do like, oh my gosh, I do love you. I love you, you're just 70 freaking dollars. So I found two palettes, you would have to go and buy two, but the price together is still nowhere near $70. We have from Uma, this eye service eyeshadow quad. These are, I wanna say five bucks. And then the Revolution Ultimate Nudes Medium Shadow Palette. I think this is under 10. These two together tell a very similar story to the Patrick Ta. Now this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. I want to do something a little smoky, a little glimmery. We are gonna go in first with, we have this right here, this bottom kind of dusty pink matte situation right here, and then we're gonna go in with the one from Patrick Ta that is more pigmented, but blended out, very similar. So we're gonna have this as our initial lay down situation. I'm gonna go in with a MAC 224 and first go in to the Revolution. <gasps> no! I went on the wrong side for eyes. We're going to pretend that that just did not happen. Okay, we're gonna go into our dusty pink Makeup Revolution Windshield Wiper Motions. Ooh, it is starting to rain out of the freaking blue. Okay, and we are, sorry about the sound, if you can hear that, guys. We're going now into Patrick Ta. This is pretty close. Pretty gosh darn freaking close. And now I wanna go in with a little bit of this brown right here. I'm just gonna take my finger, we're being easy breezy. We're just gonna pat this on the outer edge, about half of the lid right here. This is the revolution side. I'm going into the lighter brown matte. Let me wipe my finger off first. All right, those two are extraordinarily similar. And we are now gonna go into this shade right here, this kind of deep purple. I am going to pick up a little bit of this one as well. I feel like these two together make a very similar shade to the Patrick Ta. So here is the Patrick Ta right here. Makeup Revolution right here. Hello. I just want you to know there is not a tornado warning. Well, thank God. Puka's freaking out. Hi. You okay? Oh, he wants to stay in here. Dog is freaking out because of the rain. He does not like it. Even just like a little bit of rain. He's like, I can't. Pretty freaking good. We are now gonna go in with this gorgeous copper shade. We're just going for like a more is more. I really wanna show off these dupes. So this look is slightly aggressive, but sometimes that's fun, right? We're gonna go in, excuse me. Um, <laughs> We're gonna go in the inner corner, which like, oh my gosh, do you guys even see this? Let me get the light on it. This is so smooth and gorgeous. If you're looking for the perfect copper, orange, bright, beautiful, like I can't even, this shade is so stunning. We're now gonna go into an equally stunning shade from the Patrick Ta palette. It's a little bit brighter. 
that I feel like the Uma one is a little bit more pigmented. Okay, now to brighten this side up, I am gonna go in a little bit of the lighter champagne shade in here and just kind of bump them together. They give a very different effect. The Patrick Ta ones look more wet and these ones right here from Uma, they just are straight up really rich, stunning metallics. For five bucks, I think you, like, you can't get better. So they're a little, a little different. Okay, I do need to dust off my bake. I'm gonna give my lashes a little curl. I do plan on going in heavy with my mascara, so I'm gonna make sure to set the face in advance. Now, I used to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray all the freaking time. I personally like the original natural finish. They have a matte version that I find to be a little bit drying, but again, I do have combo to dry skin. If you're oily, you might really like that one. They came out with a bunch of different limited edition, like coconut infused and different ones along the way, but I have always gravitated and loved the original natural finish setting spray the most. It is a tiny bottle. You're only getting 1.5 ounces as opposed to the Urban Decay here where you're getting four ounces. I like this one better. I feel like it gives you a better longevity with your makeup and it feels nicer on the skin and there's just something about it. So we're gonna go on this side of my face here. Just a, just a moderate to heavy misting. We're gonna go with the all nighter over on the other side. I don't like to use these kind of setting sprays every day of my life. I do wanna say now that I am more concerned about fine lines and dehydrating my skin, I typically go for a more hydration type of a mist, but if you have an evening, an event, a situation where you want your makeup to last all day long, this kind of a longevity spray that usually has alcohol in it, which can be drying, they really work, so keep that in mind. The sprayer is about the same. It's not like this, it, the Urban Decay is like, oh wow, it's just the mist on it is so leveled up. They're the same. Let's pop on some mascara. Shantikai, $70. Why, why, why? Now this one does have an original formula without the lash grower thingamadoo ingredient that makes it the higher price tag. I think it's like $52 for their original. And this is the one that has lash regrowth elements, which like sell me on it. I would really love that. I regret purchasing it this time. My stopper on it broke. And then I just realized that Although it's a great mascara, it's just not worth that price tag when the drugstore really competes. Look at the difference that mascara makes. Are you kidding me? Let's pop on some Falsies Surreal from Maybelline. These are very similar brushes. And the brush is really what's gonna give you either a more lengthening look, a separated look, a voluminous look. So it really is all about the brush in my opinion. And these are very, very similar. The Falsies is an amazing formula we're about to see. It is a pain to take off, but uh, it's really, really nice. The Neutrogena one I have been loving, but I feel like I've been wearing waterproof a little bit too much recently and I'm like, hey, cool it, rotate. The drugstore and oh my gosh, Lash Paradise. The drugstore just wins when it comes to mascara. Hello, $70 under 10, my goodness. This is such a muted look for me. I don't normally play with these colors that much, but I am really liking it. Okay, I'm gonna deepen up my brows just a little bit. Ooh, thunder. Okay, well, fun times. The weather's getting a little rowdy outside. I do wanna pop this 
in the inner corner. This is a liquid shadow that the formula is exact. You guys, I was so blown away. I put this on, I'm gonna swatch them side by side, was doing what I was doing back here, let them dry. Stila versus Koki, these two right here, it's the same product. They dry down so thin. It's really like, they're both beautiful. Either one you would pick up, beautiful formula. They dry down, there's nothing bumpy, lumpy, patchy, scratchy, none of it. And you can move your hand on top and nothing moves. So impressive. I am gonna take a brush and go off the Stila, little doe foot applicator. And I'm just going to bump this right in the inner corner. I love cream liquid shadows for this because they don't move. If you do this with a um, loose shadow or with just a regular shadow, a lot of the time it will fade throughout the day. With a liquid, no, you're done, you're locked in. Let's do this brush on the side. Just kind of get in there. I mean, can you really even tell? I don't think you can. I kind of want to do just a, ah, Puka, you scared me. Oh my gosh, I forgot my dog was in here. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, now you're shaking. It's okay. Oh my gosh. All right, he's demanding that I pick him up. Okay, what's going on? You don't like the thunder? Tell the people about it. It's okay, let it out. We're just not a fan of this Texas weather and I feel really bad. Okay, how about, do you wanna sit next to me? No, no, you don't, you wanna sit on my lap. Okay, um, this is a first. <laughs> I kind of wanted to take a little bit on my finger and this is the Koki. This is the part where like, I can hear you guys being like, stop, it was already good. No, I just made it better. And now we're gonna take Stila. Okay, I know, I know. It's the Stila. Can you take him? Thank you. Where were we? I think it is pretty alarmingly close. I have one last final viral dupe that I have not tried yet. So this is gonna be like, do we ruin the look? Do we improve it? Uh, I am gonna go in, this is technically a blush from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's so shimmery juicy that I just kind of want to do like just a little, just like a little bit of that. I'm trying to figure out how to use these and like them. Everybody loves them. And then I end up putting it on and I'm doing that blush way too high thing. And I just don't think it's flattering on me. That's pretty. A little lower, we're gonna go in with some Halo Glow. This is the blush in the shade Candlelight. Same applicator. We all know this is like just straight up dupe central. I think both sides look really good and very, very similar. The drugstore is doing such a great job with formulation, color availability, product availability of every different type and style and if you don't want to shop high-end, you do not have to, to get a great, complete look. I hope you guys found this helpful, useful, and if you want more of these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up, leave me those comments. Let me know which side you preferred, the drugstore or the super luxe, and let me know if you want more of these videos. Leave that in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.